What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. We are back on some MX bikes and the track we are going to be covering today is called uh, Silica Moto Park. It's a track created by L21, it is his second track ever and it's on the uh, MX bike shop. Uh, it's one of them tracks that has a, like a name your price feature. So the track itself uh, is free if you want to hop on and play it. I know a lot of people are kind of getting fed up with me playing paid tracks all the time. But it's like if I'm, <laughs> if I'm supporting people, I'll, I'll try and do the best I can to kind of show off their work. But this one is free. It's done in, in a donation system. So you can like pay anything if you would like to contribute in some sort of way, which I think is a really cool way of going about things. I wouldn't mind seeing a few more tracks taking that approach. Now, this is his second track ever made. Um, and it follows a few similar themes to what his last one was. So... Uh, the ground and off-track textures are very, very similar to what we saw before. So it has like um, has what's the best way of wording it? it? Has like a familiar feel to it. It's like you know what you're getting into, which I feel like it's one of the things that once you've played enough tracks in this game, you you could probably tell what track creators make which tracks just by spinning a few laps on them. And I feel like L21 definitely does have his own style. Uh, the main purpose of this track is to be used as like a, a training facility for the MXB mods team. Uh, it comes with fully working like timing gates and start gates, so you can run some motos around here if you want to. And it's, it's definitely it's an interesting track layout. If you look up at the map in the top right, so for example, this section that I'm going through now, well, I say now, in a second, you'll see it. There's a bunch of like S-turns back to back to back. And I suppose the, the whole point of this track is just to grind away the laps, put in motos, and just practice. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got some jumps you have to stretch. It's got some jumps you have to scrub. Uh, it's got some tight inside ruts and fast outside berms. Uh, it's got some big old jumps as well, if you want to get a little bit steezy. And I'm on the TM144 in this video. I did load it up originally on the KTM 450. I just thought I'd try a bit of orange today. And it was a bit overkill. The only jump that I struggle to get over is this one right here. Uh, other than that, all the jumps are like really, really straightforward and easy. He's made it so there's a bigger lip on the left-hand side of that jump that I just hit there. So if you're on the smaller CC bikes, you should have no problem getting up and over it, which is good. I like that forwards thinking, a little bit of uh, initiative to make tracks more viable on, on everything. You've not just limited to, to one sort of bike to make the track actually work for you. And uh, this track has the, the same as his other track that he released. Is, I can't remember the name. I think uh, ter 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 terrace, uh, terrace View, I want to say, was his other track. Uh, it had the same feature as that, where... Uh, if you go into testing, for example, or in a server as well, I think it works both ways, and you change the conditions from clear, which I'm running right now, you get an entirely different skybox, and the ground that has like darker decals and different reflections looks really wet. So just to practice your wet riding, if you're into that sort of thing. I know we don't get many tracks on this game that are meant to be ridden in the wet, or we don't get many wet races full stop. The, the handful of wet races I've done in this game, it takes... I want to say a couple of laps to get used to things and get used to the traction, how aggressive you can be on the throttle, how far you clean over. I think once you've got it dialed, they're actually some of the most fun races you can have. There's a lot more precision involved in them. I always feel like the racing's a bit tighter as well. Obviously the bikes feel a little bit more underpowered, they feel a little bit bogged down. But it's really, really cool that he's gone out of his way to give us, whilst it's one track, it, you can turn it into two for two completely different experiences. Um, that was obviously, same as his Terrace View map, same as uh, the person that comes to mind as well is... Oh god, I'm just gonna... help me. Uh, T-Bell. Yeah, T-Bell has uh, a track which is Mill Creek, which has a complete daytime and nighttime. So whilst it's the same track, you can have two different uh, riding experiences. Re really, really cool. I'm all for the, uh, the, the custom stuff in this game. I like having different atmospheres. I think atmospheres makes a huge difference to a lot of tracks. So I hopped on the old TM144 just to... Basically, give, give two strokes a bit of love again. I rode two strokes on the last track that he made, and it, it wasn't intentional. I've only just kind of thought of that now. Um, but the, I think this TM144 is my favourite two stroke in the game by far at the moment. I did want to go down the 125 route. Um, my, okay, front front end, please. Um, but the jump that I was talking about earlier, where it's got a separate takeoff on the left side to the right side, that is a little bit too much of a stretch. I can't quite get the front wheel over it as cleanly as I'd like, which leads to some. Uh, Awkward bounces. I'm sure if you uh, spent the time to fully learn the track and learn your lines, you could probably get over it, no problem at all. Uh, I've only spun a couple before getting up into this server. And you'll notice that I'm not alone in, on the track for a change. I, I am uh, with a couple of people. I'm on my dedicated server, which is called Lynn's Official Deddy. Uh, most of the time it is up on just the race list if you go to it. Uh, I've noticed every now and then like it will uh, log me out from the server manager, uh, which will also take the server down 
Hello, Sloppy. Please don't, <laughs> please don't take my front end out. Um, so you have to, if it's not there, just give it another day or two till I put it up again, and it'll be back up. So usually, when it is up, we'll be putting it on whatever new track is out at the time. Uh, I use it quite often to get members of my Discord channel into servers, so they can ride around, see their names in the background, see what's what. And I think it's just a cool way of, I mean, it's, it's not giving back, is it? But it's getting people involved that want to join the Discord and take part and just, just see their names in the background is probably quite a nice thing to some people. Uh, so the link to my Discord is down in the description if you want to join. I believe we've just hit 3,000 members, which is really, really cool. Members of the Discord, by the way, not just members of Discord. Uh, members of the Discord, not members of the YouTube channel. That would be insane. 3,000 members, that'd be nuts. <laughs> I'd, I'd just retire. I'd be, I'd be rolling in the moolah. I've got some uh, quite interesting stuff coming up. I think tomorrow's video is going to be on a track that hasn't actually released yet. I've been lucky enough to get some early access for it, so I'll get to have a little rip around that. It's uh, a little spoiler. It is sand related, which I'm very, very excited for. After playing JV's uh, MXGP of Sardinia in... Where, 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 where is it? That Sardinia, is that Italy? I, I have no idea, um, but I've really been kind of vibing with the sand recently, so we get another sand track that's coming to the uh, the store soon, so I get early access to that tomorrow, which I get to show off to everybody, and I hope you'll enjoy that. The day after, uh, someone threw a video suggestion my way, which I've never kind of dabbled with the concept of before, but I'm interested to give it a go and test it out, and it's all to do with rider weight in this game. That you can change the weight of your rider. It's something that's hard embedded into the game. So regardless of what mods you kind of slap in here and there, it's all based in like the, the Steam directory, like the root folders. So if you do go and edit any of it, it's only available in testing. But like if you try and join any servers, it's the same as when you have uh, different tires on. It will show up with a mismatch. Um, but apparently, the rider weight does majorly affect how the bike handles and like the, the wobbliness of the front wheel or just bike stability overall. Uh, apparently by default in game the rider is about five foot seven ish in height. Feel feel free to convert it, I'm not I'm not Google. Uh, and then 80 kg, which funnily enough is literally identical to me. <laughs> so uh, it's it's me in game that's riding essentially so it, you can mess around with that a little bit apparently and um, I have been told how to. I'm probably not gonna share that exact information on how it's done but what I would like to do is put together a video showing the implications or the benefits or cons of different weights whether you maybe make yourself really heavy make yourself really light and it would be nice for kind of Piboso to have a look at to that extent as well and possibly maybe if we do find a better uh, weight for the rider overall where the bikes handle a lot better it'd be nice to get that implemented into the the main game overall i think that'd be like really good progress and uh, for, yeah, from what i've been told there is a very, there's a sweet spot there's you can go to one extreme or the other like you can on every setting in these games but there is a sweet spot in there somewhere that we need to try and find and see see how that works so very very interested keep an eye out for that video in the next uh, next day or two as well gonna try and put that together and see how it goes and then i suppose uh, to give a little update on what we've been up to recently um charlie well i say charlie myself and charlie we both uh, watch phase jeff quite often I, I can't speak on his behalf but i know i watch almost every jeff video that comes out and he's been playing a game called x defiant recently which is supposedly meant to be the new call of duty killer now you boys know i do love myself a bit of call of duty and i've been watching this x defiant game and thinking it looks really really good However, it's part of like a closed beta, and I didn't know that I could actually get access to it myself via Twitch drops. So, yesterday, sat down, watched the stream for about an hour, got a drop, got a code myself. I actually managed to, that someone had an extra code, and put it in Twitch chat, which I sniped, and then I ended up getting a code literally within 10 minutes, so then I put that code into my Discord. Hopefully one of you guys managed to snatch that up. And I've played, I want to say about five matches of it so far, and it's actually so much fun. It's a game that I really wouldn't mind trying to stream for you guys at some point. Uh, and I know that FPS games probably aren't most of yours go-to entertainment, um, but it's a super, super fun game. It's a bit more, it's like Call of Duty in a sense. It's just very, very, I want to say more casual and I used to absolutely grind out every single Call of Duty that came out for years all the way through uh, school for me. And then when I really started getting turned off of the games was when they started implementing skill-based matchmaking. I used to love just going into public lobbies, like leaving with a 3 or 4KD every single time. I was at a proper tryhard, a proper sweat, but that was fun to me. And then ever since the introduction of skill-based matchmaking in the last few Call of Duties, I've 
found myself enjoying them less and less and less. And I think that's just, I, I don't like getting a kill and dying, a kill and dying, a kill and dying over and over and over and repeat because you are matched up with people who essentially are meant to match you. Now, you might get a good game every now and then. Maybe you get a 2-3 KD. However, then the next game, they put you up against people that I, I'm sure are on some sort of substances while playing. Like, they're absolutely nuts. So you kind of get punished for, for having good games. And that kind of taints the whole experience for me. I like things that are a lot more casual nowadays in terms of FPS games. Um, one of the ones that comes to mind is... Oh, God, what's it called? It's not, is it Polygon? Not, is it Polygon? Might be Polygon. It's, a, it's like a really sh stupid cartoony esque shooter, but really, really fun. Like, no skill based matchmaking in that. And I've played a couple of games of X Defiant, as I said, and been really, really enjoying it. You know, it's very, very casual. There is a casual mode, and when the game fully comes out, there will be a ranked mode, which I think is how every game should do it. I have no idea why they force ranked stuff down our throats. If you want to play casual, let us. If you want to play ranked, let us. Um, but I 100% would be up for the idea of streaming it for a couple of hours at some point. I'm not going to commit to a day by any means because usually when when that day comes I've either not slept enough and I don't feel up to it or I'm behind on videos and need to catch up and get ahead of things so if you see a random stream from me for a game called Exafiant then feel free to stop by and check it out I feel like everybody will thoroughly enjoy it and if you want to try it out for yourself then you can get it via Twitch drops. If you go on Twitch, there's a whole bunch of streams. I think there's like 200 plus streamers when I had a look at the list um, who you can access this through. Uh, I myself, obviously, am not one of them. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm big in the motocross scene, not so big in the uh, the FPS scene. But definitely give it a go and let me know your thoughts on the game if you played it as well. Uh, I have no idea who managed to claim the spare code that I had. Uh, I don't think I saw anybody mention it, uh, but I got a lot of uh, ticks. I know a lot of people saw it. I added everybody. Which Apologies if you're getting fed up with the pings in Discord. Um, but yeah, really, really good fun. And that's kind of what I, I feel like that's what I'm going to be up to most evenings now, is just grinding out that game. I love having games where there's progression and just even something as small as leveling up. Uh, I really wish that there was a motocross game that I could really sit down and grind that I actually enjoyed playing as well. That's the key thing. Because you can sit down on Legends or Supercross 6, for example, and get your rank up, great game credits, and so on and so forth, unlock all the skins. But you, you have to enjoy it at the end of the day as well, and I, I don't enjoy any of those. So that's why I'm on MX Bikes, that's why I always play Sim as well now and then. Those are the games I actually enjoy playing, and I hope you're not getting uh, not getting too sick of it. <laughs> I do I do sit down and think every now and then, like, what can I do to try branching out a little bit? And nothing really comes to mind. I always get the odd suggestion here and there that I just think oh, there's, there's no way that's ever going to going to work but uh, we'll see and to something else that's exciting I again to look forward to is this weekend I am going to be riding for the first time this year in real life so for those of you that keep asking for real life riding footage you might see it maybe Monday maybe Tuesday depends when I put it all together weather permitting that is that that's that is the main thing like the weather in here has been very hit and miss recently it's either been really sunny really nice and warm or the heavens have opened and it's been raining everywhere i have no desire to sit out in the cold and the rain on my weekends anymore i'm getting too old for that i i like i am a fair weather rider that's the best way of explaining it i like it when it's sunny or overcast at, at most so if the weather's good and i go riding you guys will see it if you don't see it I didn't go riding, nothing else to put other than that. Um, but overall, I think that'll do it for me. I, I do actually quite enjoy this track. If I could pick holes in it at all, I would say it'd be nice if the ruts had a little bit more to hold you with. Um, but then I'm not sure of the entire feel that L21's going for. Maybe they are slightly smaller to force you to be a bit more patient, a bit more technical. Uh, the jumps seem fairly well scaled overall. I like the little bit of rough that he's got dotted about here and there. And I like the whole name your price system. I think that's a really, really good way of going about these tracks too. Especially for the people that maybe aren't on the same wavelength as say a Hurren or a JV or a Stone Rider, for example. You know, them up and coming track makers, I think it's a really good way of going about it and, and getting your foot in the door. Um, but that, that'll do it for me. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would really greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.